love it, man. It, craft beer is an art. I love coming out trying to be different people's specialties because you never know, everything tastes different, whether it's the same name or not. What they make here, they might not be able to get out west or up north or even lower south. I have plans to travel as a nurse and try different beers everywhere I go. If you come out to these events and you socialize, you can see a good side of it. And not that all the negative is sometimes it's portrayed with it here where we live. But I think it's a great social environment. I mean, if anybody likes art, I mean, art can be found in anything. Beer making can be, it's very artistic. Every year it continues to grow and we keep seeing more progress and more people come out and attend. So it's, it's a good crowd right for next year. Well, it was actually an idea. We're seeing a lot of the different craft beer. We're trying to get more presence of craft beer in our community and our, you know, in our, in our area. And someone just said, hey, y'all should try a craft beer festival. I'm like, okay, we'll give it a shot. And then of course it picked up and each and every year it just kept getting bigger and better. So they support it, we'll do it. We've got Texas Roadhouse here. We've got Appalachian Wines Arena, uh, Elite Caterings here, doing food and wings and all that good stuff. So we've we, we got some good people out here and we've got over 80 craft beers from, from around the world. Top Double Fest brings in folks that are gonna stay in the hotels. They're gonna stay, they're gonna shop, they're gonna eat, they're gonna do everything local downtown, everything uh, providing a local, local boost to our economy. So we love it.